Hello, this is a brief guide on how to get a better camera hack for Silent Hill 2 and Silent Hill 3 using Art Money and Silent Fly to get the uh, original values to make it a bit easier. So I'll just start up Silent Hill 3 as administrator of course, which means that everything that interacts with it uh, on a sort of a memory level is going to also have to be as Administrator. So, minimize that. Here we go. We'll just uh, start at the beginning here. Now, I've already got set up a first control pad. So I can move around. Let's skip this. And this too. So here we are at the opening of Silent Hill 3. I'm using Silent Hill 3 because it has a windowed mode. This will work just as well for Silent Hill 2. In fact, that's kind of the point so that you don't have to alt tab in and out of it when recording it. You can just have a sort of a live uh, thing set up for it. So what we're going to do is, well, we're gonna move that for a start and open up a web browser. And these are the programs we're going to be using. The Silent Fly, which is a camera hack that's already existing, uh, already in existence rather, and that already has pre-programmed into it the address values in question so that you can manipulate them as camera settings. We're also going to use Joy to Key, although this step isn't necessarily mandatory. It is if you want to set up the controls, camera controls on a separate control pad, which is what I've done here. And Art Money. Art Money is your memory hacker. So that's going to be the thing that's actually interfacing with the game itself. And we're going to pinch uh, the numbers from Silent Fly to program them into Art Money so we can just use Art Money from then on. Art Money, you can use control pads and you can map, well, keyboard shortcuts. You can map keyboard shortcuts to certain functions, which is what we're going to use. So yes, you need to download all of these programs and all of the addresses will be in the video. Uh, there's also download tables for Art Money as well for these games which were pre-programmed with a bunch of cheats which are quite useful. You can do things like give Heather a sexy beam so that she doesn't actually need to change into the outfit to use it. So on and so forth. Loads of cool stuff there. But yes, what we're going to do right now is we're going to start up Silent Fly, which I've got in a little folder here. Oh, then I'm going to remember that I need to start it as administrator, so I'll just run that again. There we go. So if we click over to Silent Hill 3 and hit go, what we'll notice is that we immediately get a bunch of values populated in there. Now, I'm only going to do the X and Y for now. I suppose you could do the Z, although I could never get the darn thing working. So uh, we're going to go into Silent Hill 3. So we're going to load up Art Money. Run as administrator, of course. Select the process in question, which is Silent Hill 3. And then all we're going to do is we're going to search for this value here. This 40260. I'm just going to copy and paste that in fact. So then what we're going to do is we're going to search within Silent Hill 3's executable for that particular value. Hit OK. And it's going to find 292. So then we go into the game. Do we need to go into the game? Yes, we need to go into the game. Change where you are so that the camera position changes. Come back out to Silent Fly. Hit go. Well, actually, you don't even need to hit go. Just come out with the value there. And then you filter the previous search results and say, this is what the number should be now. So wherever you find this new number in the memory addresses that it's already found, it will then filter out all the ones that don't match anymore. And we get one. So that is what we want. So that will be camera X. We can do the same thing to find Y and find Z, but sometimes it's easier if you just go into the uh, memory editor. And what I've done here is I've taken down the number of value columns to four and turned off hexadecimal view. And what we should see is our X value, our current X. So these should match up. 
the X value in Silent Fly and this first value here. And we should be able to see the other value inside it. So here we go, 23183. So if we change that to something else, then it should also alter the Y. So we, what we'll do is we'll add that to the table like that. Close that. And then we can uh, name this camera Y. And now that we have these values, we can just shut Silent Fly because now we've got them here. You can save them. You can do whatever you like with them. Most importantly, you can go into Edit and you can change special hotkeys. So you can go add. You'll have to excuse me, I'll start again there. Um, what we can do is we can map 1 and 3 here. And then we can say add 20 to the value when we hit 1, take 20 away when we hit 3, or add minus 20, which is pretty much the same thing. So now that we've mapped those values, we can then use them in the game, although we'd probably want to freeze them as well. So then we could go back to the executable, which will hopefully behave this time. And then we should be able to tap 1 and 3. No, we can't do that yet, can we not? Oh yes, we can. There we go. So as you can see, the fixed values have uh, made the camera jitter quite a lot, and we should be able to move even further away, and the camera will be forced to not follow Heather, and it'll fix it. Now, uh, obviously that jitter isn't very pleasant to look at, but we can fix that as well. So we can go back into Art Money, change the options, and tell it to... Uh, well, we could change this down to 10. And then we could click OK, and that will hopefully stabilise it a bit, because what that does is it fixes the memory more and more. Uh, the Silent Fly actually uses one millisecond, um, but I'm going to leave it on 10 because I don't mind a little bit of jitter. But you can play with that until it looks how you want it to look. We can uh, release these values and the camera will fly back to the right place. So then what we can do after that is we can use Joy to Key. To then map our second controller, and here's one I made earlier, to uh, these numbers and letters, and then have set auto repeat. So we've got a uh, auto repeat ticked and ten times a second here. So what that means is, whenever we press the uh, control pad, it will map to a number, and it will auto repeat that number if you hold the button down, so long as that's running. And then that will increment or decrement the values, and that'll make it work. That'll change the camera for you on the fly, so we don't need Silent Hill Fly anymore. Um, for Silent Hill 2, there are even more values. You have an X, a Y for the camera, uh, I'm sorry, an X, Y, and a Z for the character and the camera. So we can map all of those values into Silent Hill 2, which I'm not going to show you how to do that, because you can figure that out yourself. But it's pretty much the same thing, or you could use... Uh, Here's one I made earlier. Oh, just, just to prove it works with the free copy. I do recommend you buy Art Money, but it does work with the free version as well. And then what we can do is we can do things like map freeze to... Uh, I've got it mapped to L3, the, the stick button, and R3, the other stick button, for freeze and unfreeze, all of the top three values. So I can just freeze the camera arbitrarily. And those should work for Silent Hill 2. If they don't, you'll have to do it yourself. Bearing in mind, art money can be used for all sorts of things. It's not just limited to uh, cameras, obviously. Uh, in the tables that you can download, like I said earlier, there's loads of cheats in there. But you can also just make your own by using the same process uh, to find, for example, the number of bullets in a particular gun for any game. And then you can filter as you change the number of bullets in a gun. And sometimes that will be based on slots. So, for example, Silent Hill 4, the number of things in the number of things is the number of things in that particular inventory slot. So if you fix the value to, say, 100, and then swap bullets out for a saint medallion, then that saint medallion will have 100 units of power left on it, and that can go all the way up to 255. Um, but if you search in between the values for the slots, you'll also find the item code, and if you change the item code, then you will get different items as well. So you could, for example, spawn a Saint Medallion at the beginning of the game, or the Pickaxe of Hope quite early on, and then just end the game early by, you know, cheating. So you can do all sorts of things. So, uh, yeah, I'm going to leave it there, I think. So that's how you would map 
from Silent Fly to Art Money, and then you can use Joyter Keys to sort of act as an intermediary between your controller and Art Money, and then you can control the camera from inside the game, and then you don't need to alt-tab out anymore. And uh, if you do use this video, I would very much appreciate if you would link back to the video and tell other people how to do it if you've used this little method here. Thanks for watching.